Current and former Needham High School students recently organized a Black Lives Matter art showcase. It was an opportunity for artists to express themselves and to educate the community. Here's Maddie Gerber with more on the event. You know, when the George Floyd incident happened, you know, people were obviously angry and upset and people have been angry and upset. Um, and I thought, oh, this is just another time, like, we should come together. If we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. On July 12th, former and current Needham High students organized an art show featuring work by black artists, the purpose of which was to educate and unite the Needham community. We had history boards, or not even history boards, like more so educational boards. We talked about like Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter. We talked about, you know, mental health and Black Lives. There was poems, there was paintings, a uh, lot of different really cool artists kind of expressed how they've been feeling. The art part, um, I personally thought this would be a place for, you know, like our Black community members, they can, you know, share their voice and kind of express how they feel and, you know, what it's like to be Black in America. I read a poem called Racism is Heavy. Um, I wrote it about two days after George Floyd's murder. And it was just kind of about how I've been feeling the past couple of days. I had um, like a piece kind of dedicated to Malcolm X, which I called X and the poem. And then my second one was the Black America. And I did that piece, I believe it was two or three days after the death of George Floyd. And uh, in the midst of hearing of it, you know, like many of, many of us, I was kind of enraged, you know, roller coaster of emotions. I was very sad, upset, obviously mad, but also just confused. Things like this have happened before, but the manner in which it was over a $20 bill was just kind of very enraging. So it was just raw emotion. I was how I perceived America in the midst of all that's going on. Not just the George Floyd case, but growing up as a black man in America, kind of how I see it. I really hope people learn something, first of all. There was a lot of important facts and topics. My goal is to make sure people understand that there is a problem, even though if you can't see it. Um, I hope these you know, facts and the boards we had really got to people. Um, but I think my main goal was just to bring people together to kind of spread awareness and really show support to our Black communities. I think that event really followed through with all that. Everyone who showed up really genuinely seemed to want to learn. I don't think there was any like performativeness in it. I'm from Glasmere, Connecticut, which is a relatively small town. And I told Kiana, like, I don't think we'd ever have anything similar to this. So when I heard about it and got more information about the event, I was like, it could be like four hours away as long as I get to come along to a close-knit community and see what they're doing about in times like this. I also hope to do this event, you know, yearly. This isn't, you know, the first or last event. I hope, you know, next summer we can still bring people together and make sure um, we're still, you know, trying to educate one another. We're still supporting our Black communities. And yeah, I just hope it continues. The singing and the poetry and everything about it was just amazing.